these are the top five symptoms of a failed head gasket. Before we get to it, I want to show you this head gasket so we can understand its purpose. So the gasket has oil passages on this particular gasket here, 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 and here. This allows oil to go to and from the cylinder head on top of the block. And it also has cooler passages around the combustion chamber. So these little holes here actually allow coolant to flow from the block to, to the uh, cylinder head. And of course, you have the piston here, the combustion chamber, which is sealed by the gasket here, this nice little ring. So you've got the oil, coolant, and compression all sealed away from one another. The first symptom of a failed head gasket would have to be overheating, and maybe the most obvious. If the gasket fails between the coolant passage and the combustion chamber, it would allow coolant to enter the combustion chamber, which would be burned off and consumed. The coolant level would become so low that the engine would actually overheat. And this overheating condition would be at a stop or at speed. It would not matter, low on coolant, the engine will overheat in any scenario. The second symptom is going to be milky oil. This happens whenever the gasket fails between the coolant and the oil passage. This allows the oil and the water to mix, giving a milky look to the oil. This could be seen by just checking the dipstick because the oil on the stick would have a milky look to it. This could be very bad because oil contaminated with coolant is actually very harmful for the bearings, so this should be taken care of immediately. The third symptom would be white smoke coming from the tailpipe or exhaust. This happens whenever the gasket fails between the coolant passage and the combustion chamber, similar to symptom one. So when coolant is burned off, it emits a white smoke from the exhaust. Running rich is closer to black, and burning oil would be a blue. Symptom number four would be low compression. In the same scenario that the gasket fails between the coolant passage and the combustion chamber, compression would be lost at the failure. So a compression test could be used to find a cylinder with the failure. Symptom number five is kind of a combination of one through four. If the gasket fails at any point, it would cause a rough idle, misfire, and even slow starts. So if you have any or all of these symptoms, it's possible you could have a bad head gasket. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.